Steph Curry. Oh. I mean, the dude is just a beast. The Cavs were hosting the Warriors, and Steph Curry, uh, how do you follow up dropping 37 against the Brooklyn Nets earlier this week and besting Kevin Durant? Steph did it. Scored 20 of his 40 points in the fourth quarter, hitting three straight three-pointers, including uh, overcoming a 13-point deficit to win 104-89 last night. Golden State sitting pretty atop the NBA show. Well, you mentioned it. Curry had 20 in the fourth quarter. He also had two assists. While the Cavaliers, as an entire team, had only eight points and one assist. He is the first player in the last 25 seasons to double up an opposing team in points and assists in that last quarter. Chef Curry also had more threes in the game than those Cavs. <laughs> eight points in the fourth quarter. So essentially, Curry is constantly the story for this Warriors team. Shay, we ain't done yet. Winner age punt. Steph Curry has a twinkle in his wrinkle. At 32 years old, he notched his 15th career 40-point game, passing Alex English for third most all-time. The only players with more at 32-plus years, Michael Jordan and the late, great Kobe Bryant. Some good company to be let's in. Let's just keep talking, Steph, All right, the let's rest do of the it. Show. Winner. He's not perfect, though. I mean, they're, this is kind of slash loser because the hugging situation here with Steph Curry and Taco Fall. Look at him. Oh, my buddy. <laughs> But that's also on Taco. Maybe he should have bent down a little bit. Taco fall 7-6. Curry almost a foot and a half shorter. He makes him look like a CYO youth <laughs> basketball player. So hugging not his forte. Let's go around the association here, Jay, see what else we saw on the hardwood last night. Heat Wizards is where we start. And Jimmy G Buckets belong. Good company. That's right. Uh, Jimmy Butler, third player in Heat history with 30 points, five assists in consecutive games, joining Dwayne Wade and LeBron James. Of course, the Heat went on to win 112-97. to Help to have Bam out of bio back. Heat looked very strong with him back in the lineup. Clippers and Grizz, and we always say this. There is Ja, but we've done that too many times, so this time let's say something else. It's another day at the <laughs> office. He's, yeah. he's must-see TV. I mean, the ability at every level to score the basketball, the athleticism, uh, execution, body control, speed. He never takes his foot off the gas, Shay. John Moran had 17 in the third quarter. That's his third most in a quarter this season. Grizz clip LA 120 to 108. Spurs and Timberwolves. And Jay, what was this? This was a town hall. And I'd love to see more town halls because when Cat Daddy has the ball in his hands, it's a beautiful thing. The third usage rate on a bad basketball team, inexplicable. Get my man the ball. I like I like that stat there. Carl Anthony Towns, 25 and 12. T Wolves beat the Spurs 115 to 90. 76ers and the Nuggets. Still no Joel Embiid. So a surprising ending to this one, Jay. Snap. The Sixers get it done, snap in a streak. Charles Bassey, the rookie in place of Joel Embiid. Played masterfully going against the Joker. Tyrese Massey scored 22. Seth Curry had 20. And Philadelphia beat the Nuggets 103-89. Raptors at Jazz. And that is what we call what? That's a debut. Rudy Gay, I mean, the ability and resiliency to return from injury time and time again. Essentially had to relearn how to walk. Uh, he played against me in college. Gave me buckets then. Fun to watch him return to the lineup and get buckets for the Jazz. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+.